Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Town of 14 Let's Play, also known as the Farm 2 Max series, where last time we went to Town of 14, and we started a couple of shorter upgrades, the uh, a couple of the new traps, and we also have four builders working on some longer term upgrades, including a builder hut, uh, two elixir storages, and the pet house. So today, guys, I am... My goal is to actually do a Dark Elixir upgrade, and that would likely be the Royal Champion. That's kind of the one I was thinking about. Maybe the Queen. We'll see. And then using this Dark Elixir rune to do another upgrade, because I've got loads of them. So, uh, that is kind of the goal for today. Also, I want to mention that I am uploading these uh, videos and putting them in both playlists. My Farm to Max, which is a, a following of the journey of this main original account that's named after me klaus that i've had since the beginning of my youtube channel so uh that's kind of like that's that's just kind of like telling the story of my channel there's like 300 and something videos in that playlist but this is also going into its own town hall 14 let's play playlist so just so you guys know you can find it in both places depending on which one you're following so uh yeah so i have a boost going i am using miners as my way of getting dark elixir because i need 30 no 25 26 thousand dark elixir in today's video um, i do have quite a bit coming from a war that we're currently in but it doesn't end for another four hours and i have a, a scheduling con conflict for in those four hours from now so that's another twelve thousand dark elixir that's coming but i won't and that's of course if we win i think we are we're winning right now uh but you know it is what it is we'll see so uh, i'm gonna go out and do a couple of raids two or three actually because i am boosted so we'll be doing some skipping we'll be bringing you in with new attacks and really my goal is to find crazy amounts of Dark Elixir per raid, like eight, nine, ten thousand Dark Elixir. I mean, I find big loot raids like that all the time. So I'll be right back, guys, once I find... Well, that's, that's decent. Ooh, actually, you know what? I could snipe. Check this out. This is super efficient. Watch, watch, watch. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey family, sorry for the interruption, but I have to remind you guys again that I'm making exclusive Clash of Clans content that you can't find anywhere else on Game On. We're working on getting our first thousand followers still. What are you guys waiting for? Check it out. There's a link in the description for apps for both iOS and Android, and of course, a browser link as well. And I provided for you guys the link in the description, a, uh, a link to my most recent Game On video, so you can go straight to the content. So check it out. Link's in the description. Now let's get back to the gameplay. One, two, three. So using nine miners, I'm going to get a load of Dark Elixir. And I'm going to lose some trophies, but I don't care. I'm not in the game to, to have uh, trophies right now. What I'm in the game for is getting the Dark Elixir that I need. So let's go ahead and close out. That's going to give us... That's 3,000. There you go. Super easy. And it only cost me a few miners. So I'm going to go ahead and start them up and uh, go immediately back out. See, there you go, guys. That is called efficiency farming. So I'll be right back, guys, once I find a massive base that I actually want to attack. Something with a massive 8, 9, 10,000 Dark Elixir. 7 would be my minimum. And uh, we're going to smack it together. In fact, there you go. That's actually perfect. 7,700 Dark Elixir. I'm so glad that I said I would I would settle for 7. <laughs> really am. Now, I have no heroes. Uh, they'll be waking up for the next raid. But for now, that is, uh, that's still plenty. So, all I have to do is make sure that I get both the drills and the storage. And then this weird drill that's way over here. So, let's actually start with that one. Let's go, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. I think that by deploying them close together and at the same time, they'll take out the mines together. And then they'll go down toward the drill. There you go. We had a decent amount of... Look at those miners, man. I don't know. They're just so good. They're so good. There we go. Now, guys, uh, you guys can come across just like so. And I'm gonna put the... Siege machine in line. You see how I did that? I drew the line from the town hall across the Dark Elixir storage. And now, uh, really, it's a it's a question of time because this log launcher will get a load of Dark Elixir all by itself. Of course, I do have the heroes. I, I mean, I still have the, the, uh, the miners that are going to be doing a lot of work, too. So, do I need the rest of my spells? I may just save them because they do take longer to brew the healing spells as opposed to getting the actual miner army. So, uh, I may just preserve my spells here and, uh, let the chips fall where they may, if you will. 
Uh, so check this out. Like, this, see, so they're going to get hung up on the wall. I could rage them and heal them and all that stuff, but the, really the benefit, there's not really a lot of benefit. Like, you have to weigh your options in these attacks. Right now, getting this town hall, not necessary. I've already won the raid. It's only 500 Dark Elixir, and that's assuming that there's not some more lingering around somewhere, like in the Clyde Castle, which I don't think that's the case this time. But you never know. So 500 Dark Elixir for waiting a few more minutes per raid. It's not worth it to me. So I'm going to go ahead and close out. That was 7,200 Dark Elixir. Didn't even use all my spells. And uh, we're, we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and request for some CC. Get my next army going. And I'll just do it manually just for fun. But uh, yeah, we're in really, really good shape. In fact, I probably can go straight out and do another attack. I should probably get another log launcher like going, you know, since I, I, I may or may not get another CC. I also don't have a wall wrecker trained up. What's up with that? I should have a wall wrecker. I shouldn't have a flipping. Uh, what should I not have? Uh, the battle blimp? No, no. Let's let's get rid of the stone slimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, so I've got a backup plan. So if CC doesn't come in in time, I still have something. So I can actually maintain this for the entire hour of the boost if I wanted to and really be super efficient with my time. So let's go do another one. No CC this time, but I do have the wall wrecker and I do have that rage spell that I didn't use in the last raid in preparation for this time. So Let's go. Let's try to find another base. This time I will actually skip. Uh, I'll be right back once I find a perfect base with loads of loot. And uh, we're going to smack it together in, in a, again, all for the, the big ultimate goal of maxing out my Dark Elixir. There we go, guys. That is what I need right there. 8,000 Dark Elixir. That is beautiful. Um, most of it is in that storage. So I'm going to have to get on the other side of either the... Let me see. So we have a store, or a drill on the left, a drill on the right, and a drill on the top. So I'm really... Really the best goal for me would be to go straight through the middle. I've got my heroes, so that helps a lot. So, uh, miners, you guys... Here, let's just send them right at that mortar. Um, is that a multi-inferno? Yeah, that's a, that's a bummer. Uh, let's see if they're able to grab this Dark Elixir out of this drill. There's only one of them that decided to go for the drill. That is brilliant, miners. That's brilliant. I don't want to use too many. I actually really need to get a, a very large army into the core. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. Come on, miner. Okay, you, you did you did good enough. Uh, same here. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, and then start the process up here. So I'm actually going to send in... I'm going to go King, Queen, Warden, Royal Champion, Mortars, or I'm sorry, Miners, and then everything else. All right, so I got a heal spell. We're on top of the Clan Castle and everything else. Um, let's drop a CC on both, or uh, a heal spell on both sides. Worrying, I'm worried about the CC popping out. That's going to really throw me off. But um, we have uh, the King and the Queen, everybody going around the outside. We have the Royal Champion following the wall record. This is perfect because it's just leaving a trail of destruction behind. That Inferno Tower goes down. There's no... Um, there's nothing in the the town hall or the the uh, my CC unfortunately uh, Warden went off the wrong direction, which is a bummer But I think that by herself the queen is gonna be able to get the dark elixir out of that storage So that is perfect The only thing that we're missing now besides a few drops in that drill is potentially uh clan castle Okay, there's nothing in the clan castle too. We are we're golden. So there goes the queen's ability She takes it all out right before the last shot. That was awesome. So we actually only missed out on, uh, looks like 60 Dark Elixir sitting in that drill, so that's awesome. So now we're only, what, 6,000 Dark Elixir away? Ha <laughs> ha! That's awesome. Plus, I'm about to get a bonus, too. King, I'm just gonna let you do your thing. He had, like, no health left. Uh, and I saved a heal spell somehow. That was awesome. I probably just forgot that it was there, but there we go. So with that 1,300 loot bonus on top of that, that was 9,500 Dark Elixir. Beautiful stuff, which means, doing the math, I've only got 4,600 Dark Elixir that I still need to get. That's perfect. So, if I look at my army, get it all trained up and whatever I'm missing, put the poison spell on the end, and we're good. I got a CC that is in now. I got a few minutes until my uh, heroes and my uh, troops are, are done, and then we're good. We are, <laughs> we actually got our goal done. It was funny because last night I did a boost, and I'm like, oh man, I, I don't have enough, <laughs> I don't have enough time. I, I can't get this done, so maybe I'll do another boost tomorrow, and then... Uh, this morning was a busy morning, so I didn't get it done. So I'm like, dang, I'm not gonna be able to get it done. I'm not gonna be able to film today. And then I, uh, started boosting and decided to film it. And we've actually gotten a lot more Dark Elixir than I expected. So that's awesome. So guys, I'll be right back once the army is ready once again. I've got about a minute, but I think I may actually wait for my heroes because this will be the last attack of the video. So I kind of want to have my heroes. So I'll be right back in a few minutes once I have my army and I've found another base. Wow, okay, so this was the first search. Uh, I just got my army, and uh, I clicked the search button, I'm like, I'm gonna be here for a while. And there we go, 7895 Dark Elixir, this could be super quick, but 
because uh, I'm gonna max on my Dark Elixir super fast. But uh, for the sake of fun, I think we should still go for at least getting a two star on the space. Okay. It's funny is that I'm so used to looking at the sweepers, but with this army, I don't have to. I don't have to care. Uh, it's awesome. So, uh, Dark Elixir drills. Looks like we got two over there, one over there, and the storage is down at the bottom. So I'm thinking about coming in from the bottom right, but I do want to grab this drill real quick. Uh, there is a king. Maybe I should do like a king versus king. Let's try this. Let's go king versus king. Pirate king, you got this, bruh. Watch this, watch this, watch this. The drill popped the king's ability. There you go. He gets through it, and now he can handle that king. No problem, and he'll probably grab a couple more percentage points. Okay, next point. Uh, miners, I'm gonna drop, uh, let's do six finger deployment down there, there we go, and then the log launcher will come in straight from the bottom. Let's send the warden, uh, up the, the corner, drop a few heals. Queen and royal champion, there we go. And, uh, drop another heal, just like so. Now I'm a little concerned about the queen, looks like she's gonna continue to go off to the left, which is not ideal. Uh, let's drop a rage pill. Actually, I think we can get through this, uh, this, uh, what is it called? The, uh, town hall pretty quickly. There we go. Pop that warden's ability as well. And I've got, I've still got a, another heal spell. So that's cool. Uh, let's actually drop it down there. And if I got a poison spell, I'm probably going to use it on this royal champion out here. So let's go ahead and do that. Poison spell down. Uh, we're working on, let's actually drop that, or pop that ability there. So there we go. Scattershot's taking some damage. Come on. Take out this guy. Gal. Whatever. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Go, 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 go. Go! Okay, and now Scattershot's gonna go down too. Perfect. Nice. So I think now we can see this Eagle Artillery go down. That means that we're definitely in good shape. That was awesome. Alright, so success, right? Success. Uh, Queen just used her ability. Unfortunately, that's a single targeting Inferno that nobody seems to be able to want to go to. Uh, we do have some miners that should be able to handle it though, so that's okay. Um, unfortunately though, wow, Skeleton Traps, the worst. I hate the Skeleton Traps. Whoever invented them. I'm not happy with you, <laughs> but it's okay. So we got a, basically we got a three star, um, or not a three star, we got a two star, but we got all the Dark Elixirs. We definitely maxed out a Dark Elixir. We even wasted some, but that's okay. I, I don't care. Uh, Yetis are gonna swing around, have to deal with the stupid skeleton trap. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Dark Elixirs are the worst, or um, my gosh, the skeletons uh, are the worst. And now they're gonna make their way around. It's actually probably about to go up to the, nope, they're gonna try to go through the wall. Well, good luck with that, bud. You're getting targeted by a single inferno, so... <laughs> yeah, at least we got the wizard tower, right? At least we got the wizard tower. Alright, so there we go. Got plenty of dark elixir. Plenty of elixir and gold, actually. So there we go. Alright, so now that we've maxed that out, this is the point that I've been wanting to get to. Is this point here. First of all, I did reorganize this a bit. I still need to reorganize this a bit, but these are the things I need to upgrade. These are the things that don't need to be upgraded. I haven't even gone through to make sure. <laughs> so there may be some things over here that are done. And there may be some things over here that aren't done. Uh, I haven't been super thorough, but I know what I want to do today. So that's really what matters. So, uh, maxed out Dark Elixir. Clearly, number one priority will either be the Royal Champion or the Queen. Okay, but the problem is the Queen is 306,000 Dark Elixir. Uh, and that's because the Dark Elixir storage actually gets an upgrade. Now, this is the problem. The problem is that... That's going to give me an extra 50,000 Dark Elixir storage capacity. And I would like to use my Dark Elixir rune once this thing is done. So, uh, what that means is that I'm going to have to upgrade this Royal Champion. It's 300,000 Dark Elixir. I know I have a Hammer of Heroes, by the way. I forgot about the Hammer of Heroes, so I'll be using that, but not on the Royal Champion. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to upgrade her. I'm going to leave her upgrading. I'm not going to use my Dark Elixir rune until after my Dark Elixir storage is done, which means my second builder was, is going to be working on the Dark Elixir storage. There you go. But there's some things to do between. So go, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. This is an eight-day upgrade. 300,000 Dark Elixir in three, two, one. Bam. All right, so that's happening. Now, uh, I would like to use, let me see, do I want the Warden upgraded or the Queen? I think I'm gonna actually upgrade the Queen. All right, so let's use this Hammer of Heroes on this Queen. Uh, she's gonna go to level uh, 76. Remember, level 80 is now maxed. So, Hammer of Heroes, three, two, one, bam. And then, if I go into here, I can get another one and begin that countdown. So there we go, and I'm gonna use it on the Queen once again. So now I've got a level 77 Queen. That is awesome. So let's do this. Three, two, one, bam. All right, so that's done. So now, instead of going ahead and upgrading the Dark Elixir Storage immediately, I first have to accept some free Elixir. I think I've got a cheaper Elixir set. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. There we are. So now I've got enough Elixir to actually upgrade this Dark Elixir Storage, which is 12 million 
Elixir. It's a 15 day wait though, so that's going to be kind of a struggle. Uh, so all of my Dark Elixir going forward will either go into a cheaper Dark Elixir upgrade, which will have to be uh, pff, none of them actually. I guess the Pet House, hopefully the Pet House finishes up soon. Um, and let me think, uh, the gold, definitely gonna have to upgrade some stuff with the gold. Okay, so let's actually select all this. I'm gonna upgrade all these walls. This is 5.05 million gold. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it all. And my, yeah, because once I start, oh wow, I'm about to landlock myself pretty bad. Uh, seven days until my next builder comes available, which is fine. I can still make videos without a builder available. I have a lot of loot that I'm gonna need before this is over, so. Definitely have to continue to focus on the highest priority upgrades like the dark elixir storage like the heroes like this clan castle This needs some some attention, but um, I can't hold enough gold So I'm gonna have to prioritize gold storages soon, but uh, right now definitely dark elixir storage is priority So let's do this and again if I don't do this look at this if I don't do this look at this queen 318,000 dark elixir I can only hold 300 so I can't upgrade my queen without here without hammers <laughs> So I have to upgrade my storage. This is definitely number one priority right now. So before I do that, I'm going to upgrade some more walls, but this 15 day upgrade, which means I'm going to have basically an eight day period where I can't do any upgrades. So that's going to be weird, uh, but it's, but it's okay. All right. So, uh, walls, let me just, let me just see here. Uh, 9.5 million. Oh, I can't even, can't even do that. Um, here, these, this is 3 million. There we go. And then these walls are half a million a piece. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade you know, 10 of them, give or take. Yep, that was perfect right there. 5.5 million gold. There we go. And then uh, many of you guys were mentioning the uh, wall rings in my previous video. I forgot to use them. So I'm actually going to use them on some of the max walls. Okay, some of the absolute 100% max walls. There's 7 million loot apiece. And so using seven wall rings per wall would be pretty cool. So that means I'm going to go back into my defensive base and I'm going to select the walls that are closest to the town hall and at the bottom. Okay, these are the ones that I want to do. So seven wall rings. That's one. That is two. And I don't even have enough wall rings to do a third. So there we go. That, that would have been 14 million loot just to get those two walls upgraded. But they look so cool. Like once we get the entire inner ring done, dude, that is going to be absolutely uh Gorgeous. So I'm going to hit edit on this layout. I'm going to take out these two walls on the corner. Grab those two that I just upgraded. Put the lower levels back in that space. And then put the maxed ones here. There we go. That's probably the easier of the two ways to get it done to where everything is in the right spot. So, uh, last thing, but certainly not least. Definitely want to upgrade the Dark Elixir Storage. So let's go 15 day upgrade. 12 million Elixir in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Wow. All right. So guys, we have two eight day upgrades. We have two 10 day upgrades, a 13 and a 15. I am stuck. I cannot spend any loot for the next week. I don't know what that's going to entail, but that means that in a week, I definitely want to have max loot. So I may or may not make a video between then and now. Um, I can probably maybe like do some the builder base stuff, but I don't really need to. I continue to collect my stuff and then get out. And maybe I'll upgrade something here and there, but I've got my sixth builder, which is really the point of builder base in my opinion. So there's no point. So, uh, so yeah. Ooh, I can move this across the map. There we go. Nice. Dark elixir storage. I, I, I realized after filming last video, I was like, oh dang, I forgot like the one of the most important things. Because if I wouldn't have upgraded that, I wouldn't have had any dark elixir, uh, options, which is not cool. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of Town of 14. Let's play. Got tons of stuff done. Um, it, it was a lot. It was a lot and it was expensive, but it was good. So <laughs> like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. Don't forget to ring that bell for notifications and do not forget to use code Klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game. Remember that the code does expire after seven days. So always double check in your shop before you buy something. Mine's good. I have it. But if I didn't, I'd use the link in the description or I would input the code using the link or I would input the code manually through the settings. Guys, remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.